<laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right. All right. TC one playing Mario versus Seagull Joe's. Uh, Diddy. And I think that really, uh, what TC needs to take advantage of is bananas. He needs to have a solid banana game because picking up the ban uh the bananas is really effective when playing against Diddy. It's really essential, actually. Otherwise, if you leave him on the ground, it's really difficult to play against him. Yeah, Diddy, Diddy can have some really good stage control with bananas, especially on a flat stage like this. Uh, Seagull wasn't using him as much in doubles, uh, just because it he was uh he was playing with a. Uh, I don't know. He was. I forget who he was playing with off the top. He was playing Ivysaur in doubles for for yeah, a good well, amount, yeah, and then and he, he switched over to Diddy. Uh, but um, yeah, good. Oh yeah, he he thinks that Ivysaur is a better team's character just because of like the charging, the solar beam, you know, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. Oh, okay. the dog. See, with a really strong start, really oh unexpected gosh. once again. Like Mario is so fast. <laughs> so the other thing in this matchup is. Uh, cape. Cape is really scary for Diddy. Because, yeah, you uh, can cape the recovery. Yeah. It's, and it's dangerous because uh, you you have to sweet spot like perfectly. Ooh, that jab reset. Oh my goodness. TC is right. just going in. TC is making good use of the bananas of the ability to wave dash over them. Yeah, really making good use of that. Yeah, playing TC really strong. Yeah, TC playing really well. He has a pretty strong lead at this point. This is probably the best I've seen him play. Yeah, his movement is really on right now also. I guess he, he found a lot more confidence with the Mario because before he was starting off as um uh Toon Link, so maybe yeah. either it's a matchup thing or he just he's found uh, a little bit more confidence with the Mario, but yeah. I, I think he's a he's a Toon Link main, I'm pretty sure. He, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I played his Toon Link earlier in bracket. But he tends to lose the first if he loses the first game he tends to switch to Mario. Or if he's not confident. Ooh, nice effort. Yeah. That's right. that's one of Jiddy's follow ups, which is quite annoying, but <laughs> It's, it's pretty guaranteed also. Seagull's trying to try and get some more percent before this, uh... He's gonna try and get as much percent as he can before this life is out. Because it's, it's free damage at this point. Because he's... Yeah. He's like a grapple. Alright. Yep. Gets, gets the down throw and, to fair. And down throw fair is, is pretty guaranteed. Against all, against a fair amount of the R cast. Yeah, it's, it's... It's a good... It's a solid combo. Yep. Good job. Good job, Devin. Yep. Shout out to Devin, who uh, did a great job TOing the this PM tourney. Uh, and he TO'd and he and plays top well. 8. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Shout out to Devin. Uh, Seagull's doing a, a really good job, I think, recently with the with this last stock of uh, controlling space with bananas. I think he did that. He's doing that better than he did the first yeah. stock. Not letting uh, TC take, any, take advantage yeah, of his like, bananas. I mean, oh, I yeah, guess see, it's just waits for the get up and then does yeah, it. This, this is swinging around closer to even now. Uh, just a small percent lead. That's uh, Oh, wow. And then the combos. Oh, wow. Oh, barely barely missed the forward air. air. Oh, my gosh. Mario's combo game in PM is just so sick. It, it really is. He's, he's, a, he's a strong character. Oh, okay. Oh, I oh, thought wow. he was going to go for the fair there, but chooses to go for the down air. Yeah. Also a good option. Maybe a mix-up for the for DI. If you, yeah. Well, either way. But getting him off DI stage is, yeah. is usually the better option, yeah. but... All right. Camping the platform with Ooh, the banana. Nice, nice, nice air yeah, dodge he, on that banana. Grabs the banana with the air dodge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, bananas. Just Seagull's doing a, a lot better with bananas now. He's, uh. I mean, more than more than using them, he's making T1 react to them, and then because yeah. he's reacting, he has more options. Oh, wow. That, Caving the banana. That's that. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, wow. Jeez. Really, Mario's recovery. Really good recovery. Is so strong, yeah. And really smart, uh, smart from TC. Yeah. We have a, we have a solid match right here. All right. Gets. Jump out of shield or back air shield. Uh, saving right, that jump, yeah, but it's not quite enough. Is the edge guard. And really, you kind of just have to wait out Mario's down B because once once he finishes that, he really doesn't have anything else yeah. left. So and it's, uh, if you if you kind of time it right after to get a move off after the down B, you can you can give his recovery. All right, strong down smash. All right, we got a match. Very, Once very close. That banana, the banana on that platform is doing work. Ooh, gets, Diddy gets a grab. All right, and TC DIs it away, which is yeah. smart. Ooh, almost getting that re-grab. Oh, falling oh, off. We got that a was unintentional. Perfectly even game here. Oh, okay. Got it. Get some off stage. Setting up see bananas. If he All right. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, the peanuts. That's something that Joe likes oh, to do. He chill. likes to, to edge guard with the peanuts and 
throws people off, so. Oh, wow. Very nice, close. Yeah, that nice was, shield there. That was, <laughs> this could have been death. Throws out the forward smash, but. This is really close. I think Seagull's just trying to try to camp with the bananas. Maybe do a down throw of the bananas into, like, a smash attack. That's usually what he likes to do. But he doesn't want to do anything too risky, so. Yeah, at this point, at this point, Mario can... Probably isn't going to get a kill with F Smash or F Air, but it's going to knock Seagull far enough off that an edge guard is possible yeah. and likely. All right, Ooh, nice I I'm not, not sure if it was quite necessary, but all right. Here's the up throw, yeah. And, oh, that'll do it. Wow. Yep. That's what I was going to say earlier, because earlier he got a uh, grab on a platform, uh, Seagull did, and since he was on the platform, he's at a one at 140%, but he chose to do a back throw instead, and I thought he might kill off the up throw, but... All right, we're into the all second right. game. Yep, going to... Oh. All right, never mind. We're not into the second game. <laughs> Oh, Seagull counterpicking to Ivysaur, and TC1 going back to Toon Link. Well, definitely did not expect it. Oh, okay. Oh, and <laughs> going back to Mario again. Uh, he could have chosen. He could have uh, counterpicked character if he so desired there, because he lost that last. Which would have been interesting. A double character switch. <laughs> Don't see it too often. Uh, I think that maybe. I didn't really see it. Uh, any. Hmm. I'm not really sure why he switched. I guess he just didn't feel that confident against uh, with the matchup. But yeah. I was gonna say that maybe he thought it was something to do with his recovery and caping, but he didn't really yeah, it have was, any. It wasn't uh, too big of a factor last yeah, there match. wasn't really any gimping of his recovery. All right, gets him with the uh, forwards. Uh, Ivysaur should yeah, will recover from this. So no. Yeah, Ivysaur has a really strong recovery. But one thing, uh, people. Oh, nice back here. People can make use of is uh, if you if you're on the edge, a nice back air. But if you're on the edge and a te with a tether recovery, the the tether has to come on stage. So you can if you time it right, you can just get a free follow up. Yep. Yeah. But also you have to keep in mind that the tethers can be used three times. So people they can there's a lot of mix up that can happen. Yeah. Right, gets the forward smash off the top. All right, pretty even match. Seagull is using that, uh, spacing that back air to get, just get them free percent. Yeah, it's... Ivysaur's long range normals are, are going to be pretty The nice back air space well is is a really dangerous tool. It's it's ridiculous. Yeah, that's how. I, that's actually here, how we got that uh, first kill was off of back air. Yep. That's that's what Seagull likes to do. He, he's, he plays very campy since he's a brawl, ca uh, brawl yeah. player. So he that's I think that's why he, he chose Ivysaur, just because of the back air. I think he saw Denti using it, and he was like, "Wow, I want to do that," <laughs> and he did character. it. <laughs> oh, oh wow, no. that was. Did he I, did he read that fair? Would that have hit without the? Or the I, did he read the up air? I think so. Dang. Yeah. Seagull not really charging the solar beam much. Well, oh. now he <laughs> is, but uh, commentator's curse. Uh, and I don't. I I don't know. He. Yeah, maybe it's not as uh, as important in singles, I guess. But like right there. Oh, I guess I guess getting the kill is definitely gonna be more important. And he's gonna. Yeah. All right. So we got an even match. All right. I think I think that Seagull actually switched because Ooh, he might wow. have been more inclined to switch because of the shy guys that he can um use the down air on, <laughs> and he can heal off them. I just realized <laughs> that. I don't know. I don't know if that's like incentive enough for him to switch that's, characters, <laughs> but maybe because it was because edge. it was close <laughs> and because he can do that. <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh, going for that uh, stun sword. Or seed bump. But I don't know what they call it. We, got, we have a close match here, but as was the last one. Yeah, just, just basically. Gets him off stage. Oh, that was unfortunate, yeah. Box, TC1's movement, I don't think, has been as good this match as it was last match. And that may be partially because of the stage, but he hasn't had nearly as much like tricky movement like he did the first time. Yeah, and it might, it might also be maybe he's not quite familiar with Ivysaur as he was Diddy since. We have a lot of Jitties in this region, so maybe he was a little bit more familiar with that. Yeah, that's true. Alright. Misses the... I think he wanted to go for the wall jump there, but I don't think he was close enough. Yeah, Mario's recovery is pretty solid on this stage. Oh, yeah. He can any jump. any stage that has uh, a wall that he can uh, do yeah. the wall jump off of, yeah. Ike he has well. a solid recovery. Yeah, Ike. Any flat-sided uh, stage. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. A wow. little bit of an error there from Seagull. Ooh. Alright, gets, gets Coming the right follow-up on the, with yeah. the up air. Oh wow, gets that up smash. That solar beam is actually kind of close. I don't know if it'll actually okay, come into play, but... Oh Damn. wow. Oh, oh my gosh, Mario. Wow, with these combos. The Mario combos. Yeah, Mario is so combo-centric. So much more so than he is in, in Melee. Um, oh, definitely. Yeah, it's just like... 
All right, goes to the fair. Oh and wow! Do it. Wow! And right. I, I definitely would not be surprised if Joe switches back to, yep. to Diddy Kong. That's one one. And that seems <laughs> In like fact, I am almost a hundred percent sure he will. <laughs> yeah, I mean he'll ban stages first because. Yeah. It just, I mean, if he bans the, yeah. So, we got ourselves a match here. Yep. First game was close, so, and Joe was Diddy Kong, so this this game could be a, another good one. Yep. All right. Uh, uh, here is the. Yep. 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 There's yep the going to. TC one staying Mario though. I think he he wants a higher ceiling just because of the the down throw fair combos or just even yep. the just the fairs in general, and just because Diddy Kong kills off of uh, the side blast zones a lot. Yes. With and his uh, forward air. Also, uh, the walls here aren't super great for Mario's recovery. Yeah, I mean, that's they're better. Also true. They're better than like Smashville, but they're not spectacular. TC off, off to a good start. I mean, it is e it is pretty even though. He does have a slight advantage here. Yep. Joe is just seals camping up top a lot with the bananas. Yep. Just looking to get the percent. All right. Yeah, Seagull really he, looks for safe. He, safe percent is what he's going for. Just safe damage. And he he's wait now. I think he's waiting for him to grab the bananas. He's baiting him to grab the bananas so that he can follow oh up on that. Oh, it misses the follow up there. Didn't quite expect him to trip like that. It was kind of a weird uh yeah, <laughs> tripping from coming on stage. But um all right, gets him off stage. Nice nice sweet spot. All right, tries the cape. Oh, this is this is a bad spot for Mario. Yeah, this. this All right, oh, no, no, he had the jump. He had the jump. Smart, smart fireballs with his recovery. Yep, that's a. Uh, he that's he like limits. A docks uh, covering recovery with pills in, uh, in melee. Yeah, he really limits the options for. Uh, for edge guarding it. Yeah. All right, first dock goes to TC. Playing, playing strong. Yep. I, I think he's he's definitely more confident against Diddy. Even if he may do better against Ivysaur, I think he plays more confidently and with better yeah, movement. He definitely knows the matchup better. I mean, we have so many Diddies in MDVA. It's a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> so once once one person wins with Diddy, people like to they hop on the Diddy uh, bandwagon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But Diddy is definitely a strong character, so I don't blame them. Yeah. I think I think we're gonna we may see Asamus the bandwagon. After uh, oh yeah, <laughs> after uh, when ECM is said and done, really that just shows that every there's so many viable characters and you really don't know until yeah. someone comes with like people people don't figure out the things on their own but like when they see people doing them they they they're like wow I want to play that character <laughs> and then it just spreads from there yep like the same is happening with like Link yep just because he has ridiculous follow ups. <laughs> and yeah. ridiculous combos. Yeah, he has a uh, he has nice approaches too. Actually, Link has some really Link is really the solid. boomerang is a very yeah, solid approach. Is, it's so I good. think it's a little bit too solid of an approach <laughs> in my opinion, but and confirming into kills the boomerang confirming to dare is a little bit ridiculous. Oh, but yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. all right. Just camping a little bit with the fireballs. Doesn't want to. All right, I gotta run. I have a match. All right. Doing a little bit of solo commentary here. Unless, oh wait, all right, never mind. Didn't try to get Esam to commentate, but all right. All right, gets a nice forward tilt. Yeah, I think that we're gonna see a lot of camp, campy play right now. Cause neither player wants to really. Whoa, okay. This side B backwards, reflecting the peanut. A little bit strange. But yeah, we're probably gonna see a lot of campy play from both players. With the bananas and the fireballs, because neither player really wants to um, give the advantage here. See, we're already three, three minutes and thirty seconds into the match, and only one stock has been taken. So, all right, nice follow up. Yeah, once again, really some campy play with these bananas and the fireballs. One eighty-two percent. All right, the back air kills. Very high percentage on uh, on TC. We have a very close match here. All right, okay, doesn't quite get the follow up because of the platform. Yeah, this is this is just Jutain's solo commentating right now, guys. 
Alright, nice. Waits for him to, to drop his shield and then just does down smash. Very solid. Joe, Seagull Joe has about 80% lead here. But it's definitely not out of the question for TC to bring him back. We've definitely seen some strong comebacks. Oh, okay, with the fair. Such a strong move. Really, really difficult to DI. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Seal just kind of sits back with the bananas now. He really doesn't need to go in, and he might. I think he's going to take advantage of that. Okay. Off stage a little bit. Alright. Pretty strong uh, strong comeback with from TC. He's really bringing it back pretty well. But he needs to close out the stock pretty soon if he wants to have a chance of coming back here. I think a forward air would probably be a solid option just because of the high ceiling. The fair, he probably needs a little bit more percent to kill with the fair. Oh, just waits for the get up. Oh, this could be it. This is a really bad position for TC. But really, really solid recovery with uh, the backwards, um, the reverse uh, uh, side B capes. Oh, okay. oh, wow. That was a really re good recovery. Really smart. And Joe's just going to space these peanuts. Try to get the edge guard here. Oh, again with the, the reverse side B. It's really tricky. But... TC needs to close out the stock soon. Alright, the fair. He's still alive. Alright, solid sweet spot. Nice. Okay, another fair. Still, still living, which is surprising because that move is really strong. Oh, uh, barely misses the stage for the for the wall jump. But still, really solid from uh, from TC. Getting really close to beating Joe. And Joe, Joe's a solid player.